Hello, and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. You may recall that in the last episode, I requested prayer for my father-in-law, but gave little indication as to the reason why. I have spoken with Peter Oakes, that is my father-in-law's name, and he has given me permission to explain why prayer is so important in his life right now. So I trust you will bear with me as I explain. Earlier in the year, Peter told Caroline and myself they had been diagnosed with cancer, and that according to the doctors, that he only had two years left to live. They admitted that they didn't have a cure for the sort of cancer he has, and it could only be treated with chemo. Being strong in the faith, he requested prayer, and Caroline and myself took that prayer request to our church family. Peter underwent some chemotherapy, and the tumour seemed to go to sleep and has been able to live a relatively pain-free life since then. On Saturday the 9th of November, Peter sent my wife a text message, stating that after a CT scan, that there were causes for concern, and he has been requested to have a review at Wivenshaw Hospital on Thursday the 21st of November. I know, seeing some of the screen names that you have used to subscribe, that my humble show seems to attract fellow believers, so I ask that you lift up Peter's name before the Lord on Thursday, and let us ask the Lord for a real miracle to happen on that day. Today we read the last chapter of Leviticus. Let us come before our Heavenly Father. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to an understanding of you. I also ask that you are with Peter, my father-in-law, as he attends his appointments. Father, you are the ultimate healer. And so I ask that you place your hand on him that day. Amen. Leviticus, chapter 27 He always spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When a man separates a person to Yahweh in a vow, according to your valuation, your valuation of a male from twenty years old, even to sixty years old, shall be fifty shekels of silver. After the shekel of the sanctuary. If she is a female, then your valuation shall be thirty shekels. If the person is from five years old, even to twenty years old, then your valuation shall be for a male twenty shekels, and for a female ten shekels. If the person is from a month old, even to five years old, then your valuation shall be for a male five shekels of silver, and for a female your valuation shall be three shekels of silver. If the person is from 60 years old and upward, if he is a male, then your valuation shall be 15 shekels, and for a female, 10 shekels. But if he is poorer than your valuation, then he shall set before the priest, and the priest shall assign a value to him. The priest shall assign a value according to his ability to pay. If it is an animal of which men offer an offering to Yahweh, all that any man gives of such to Yahweh becomes holy. He shall not alter it, or change it, a good for a bad, or a bad for a good. If he shall at all change animal for animal, and both it and that for which it has changed shall be holy. If it is any unclean animal, of which they do not offer as an offering to Yahweh, then he shall set the animal before the priest, and the priest shall value it, whether it is good or bad. As you the priest values it, so shall it be. But if he will indeed redeem it, then he shall add the fifth part of it to its valuation. When a man dedicates his house to be holy to Yahweh, then the priest shall evaluate it, whether it is good or bad, as the priest shall evaluate it, so shall it stand. If he who dedicates it will redeem his house, then he will add the fifth part of the money of your valuation to it, and it shall be his. If a man dedicates to Yahweh part of the field of his possession, then your valuation shall be according to the seed for it. The sowing of a home of barley shall be valued at fifty shekels of silver. If he dedicates this field from the year of Jubilee, according to your valuation, it shall stand. But if he dedicates this field after the Jubilee, then the priest shall reckon to him the money according to the years that were made to the year of Jubilee, and shall lower your valuation. If he who dedicate the field shall indeed redeem it, then he shall add the fifth part of the money of your valuation to it, and it shall remain his. If he will not redeem the field, or if he has sold the field to another man, 
it shall not be redeemed any more. But the field, when it goes out in the jubilee, shall be holy to Yahweh. This is a devoted field, it shall be owned by the priests. If he dedicates a field to Yahweh, which he has bought, which is not of the field of his possession, then the priest shall reckon to him the worth of your valuation up to the year of jubilee, and he shall give your valuation on that day as a holy thing to Yahweh. In the year of jubilee, the field shall return to him from whom it was bought, even to him to whom the possession of the land belongs. All your valuations shall be according to the shekel of the sanctuary, twenty gerahs to the shekel. Only the firstborn among animals, which is made a firstborn to Yahweh, no man may dedicate it. Whether an ox or sheep, it is Yahweh's. If this is an unclean animal, then he shall buy it back according to your valuation, and shall add to it the fifth part of it. And if it isn't redeemed, then it shall be sold according to your valuation. Notwithstanding, no devoted thing that a man shall devote to Yahweh, of all that he has, whether a man or animal, or of the field of his possession, shall be sold or redeemed. Every devoted thing is made holy to Yahweh. No one devoted who shall be devoted from among men shall be ransomed. He shall surely be put to death. All the time of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the trees, is Yahweh's. It is holy to Yahweh. If a man redeems anything of his tithe, he shall have a fifth part to it. All the tithe of the herds of the flocks, whatever passes under the rod, the tenth shall be holy to Yahweh. He shall not search whether it is good or bad, neither shall he change it. If he changes it all, then both it and that for which it is changed shall be holy, it shall not be redeemed. These are the commandments which Yahweh commanded Moses for the children of Israel on Mount Sinai.